Well, it's been a couple months. Almost three. Been working on my hand, getting it back into shape. And in the process, I've been also working on the tiller. Here's the original tiller stock. And the tiller head that it goes in. And you can see it's pretty narrow. And if I left things alone, it would sit in there and work clank back and forth and slowly tear up the tiller head. And when I laminated the tiller, which is right here, I didn't lose a lot of width. I might have lost a little over a sixteenth. So I decided to do something about it. One of the things I could have done would be to cut it in half all the way along here and put a sliver of wood in there to make it wider. It would look pretty nice. But to do that I need something really good like a professional bandsaw. Like this. I didn't have one, so what I did was just glue a couple cheek pieces on the side. This is Kusa dogwood and it's pretty hard. It's harder than hickory, harder than oak, harder than the walnut that's in here. It's the three inner laminations here between the walnut. And it shouldn't wear down. And that result is perfectly snug. When it gets a couple more coats on it, it'll be snug in there. And it won't work back and forth. I think you can see that the, the finish is just for the first coat. It's not bad. There's some spots that are not coated for whatever reason and after two more coats and sanding between it should be better it looks great it's definitely handmade there are imperfections big ones <laughs> but I don't mind very comfortable to hold and I think it'll serve well. Two more sandings, two more coats and that'll be done.